All right. Latest progress update this week. I've been working. Oh, I got a lot of progress on 52bible.com. You can go there and read more little chapters about Jesus' life. I've been trying to, you know, in the, in the beginning of, this, of the Gospels, anything up before chapter 5, maybe even into chapter 5, it is just, you know, not all the, dis- I mean, none of the disciples were following Jesus in chapter 1. And, you know, then they meet each other one at a time. And so it's, it's, it's like, you know, who was where and then, you know, it's like flashback city. And there's more flashbacks and flash forwards or flashes forward, rather. You know, more, it, it, there's more, I mean, it's more chronologically confusing than a Japanese anime. You know, they've always flattened the timelines all that. So that, anyhow, so I've been, I'm early in Jesus' ministry trying to do my little investigative journalism thing of the gospel, trying to figure out, okay, well, is this here first or that there first? And George, what, 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 what do you mean that that means that the Bible's fake? No, 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 no. Just because people have a dinner table conversation about something doesn't mean that their conversation is about something fake. I mean, when do you tell a story that's chronologically perfect and every person's quote was exact? Okay, good. Learn how people wrote back then, George, before you jump into criticizing. So anyhow, I've, I've been getting that uh, together and I am rewriting. I'm over the hump and I am rewriting Memoirs of Ophanine. It goes back based on my theology uh, you know, who God is, he's all powerful and stuff. And so what that means and then what angels do and what they act like, what you know, we know some about that. The book of Enoch, which is true, but not Bible, but it's true. And, the, you know, one Enoch, not two, three and four. Those are fake, but one Enoch, the book of Enoch. So based on that, you know, I go back to the creation of the angels when it was just God and no angels. And I just walk right up through the point where he creates the angels and they have their rebellion and God creates the earth. And I I walk all the way up through the great white throne judgment and it's all from the angel's perspective and I'm rewriting it. So that's going to be coming out soon. And once I finish, once I finish, I, by golly, I am determined to get into writing my series which is going to be, I mean, I have my own little comic series. It might, I don't know, it might be coming out once a month. I'm thinking about once a month, 10,000 words, a, you know, 99 cents per ebook. I'm really thinking about it. And it's going to be a series that's going to last a long time. And that, that's going to be my little, I mean, my little end of the world uh, romance drama. Um, I, mean, it's just, I mean, all these movies are the same story. You know, the creator's evil. Jesus and the devil are brothers, and Jesus is the stupid one that wants to control the whole earth. And the devil's really the good guy who was just cast to learn a lesson, but they had a fight in heaven, and he's here to help us from his evil brother, Jesus. And they're all the same story. That's what all the movies are about, and it's outright boring. I mean, I can't watch a Transformers movie or a comic movie without, without seeing this. Um, so, you know, it, it's... Um, the topic of blame shifting really, really came to me this week. I mean, it was with friends. It was with reconciled friendships. It's with friendships going nuts. Um, there's this textbook narcissist uh, personality disorder. I am. Con- I think it's cluster B. It's not borderline disorder, but it's in the borderline disorder cluster. I am absolutely convinced this lady is, is that personality disorder next to board. Uh, do your, okay, fine. I'm going to pause the podcast and go find the cluster, George. Fine. I'm going to pause the po- Yeah, uh, over here I am at uh, mentalhealth.net. I was right on the money. Uh, cluster B, DSM-5. Uh, and I, and I, I, it's, it's the narcissistic personality disorder. It happens to be in cluster B and right next to it borderline. And sometimes I swear this lady is both. I swear. Now, 
This is imp- I, I'm going to read this about person. People talk about personality. What's a personality disorder? There are 10 of them. And there, there's cluster A, B, and C. And it's not bad. It's not bad to go through and read psychobabble definitions of, of what people's problems are because, and this is important. I want you to know this, okay? For your own sanity. Uh, I, I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm just a layman telling you what is general knowledge here. Uh, and my understanding may not even be perfect. Go study it yourself. But it ain't bad to read psychobabble talk because we all can be crazy a little, you know, once in a while. And the website has this disclaimer. Um, so I'm not going to read it to you for copyright because the copyright Nazis are out there. Even fair use is being abused. But anyone can act, according to this, anyone can act like, I'm at, I'm at mental help dot net anyone can act like they have a personality disorder from time to time according to this the thing is about a personality disorder is that according to myers it's inflexible enduring maladaptive in impairs social functioning and it's disturbing so it's got to be there persistently no matter what to the detriment of friends and it's amazing. It's just been coming to me again and again and again. I'm going to close this. This week, it's been amazing. Deal with your own problems first. I've seen this come across my desk again and again and again. Tracy Bickle was talking about this. Um, some guy at IHOP KC was preaching about this. It's been This lady has been coming at me and trying to get me to marry her. She's convinced that I'm going to marry her in September. I seriously, I am not joking. And I, I'm just, I'm going, this lady's never wrong. Nothing is her fault. She believes that God told her that I'm a present to her and to her. That doesn't mean she must accept me. It means I have to obey her. And that's the textbook narcissism thing. But then her inability to handle rejection, if I don't marry her, she's going to go nuts. No, 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 no. I've got crazy people in my life all the time. So, see, I'm kind of used to this. I, I just, you know, if you had a double personality disorder person, uh, you know, messing with your life, you, you might drive you a little crazy. But for me, I just kind of have to work it into my, you know, schedule. Look, look um, this last weekend, I'm so ha- I'm thrilled I spent 10 hours with a kid, a Taiwanese kid, showing him that he can install Ubuntu on his computer. I explained to him how development works and the different development teams that are out there, how that works, how he can put his own games on his Ubuntu computer. And after 10 hours, he goes, man, Ubuntu really is awesome and I can do this. And no one ever showed him that before because all of his teachers tell him that if you don't learn it in school, then you're not learning it and you're wasting your time. So I'm, I don't know. The, the theme this week was be faithful in the small things. And that was my small thing this week. Um, and uh, personally, uh, the Lord's been telling me, you got to just have conversations with people more, Jess. Finish some of your projects, but make time for conversations. Be faithful in the small things. And, you know, all this kind of relates to the same theme. And it's there if I just get to the point. Expanding your borders won't solve your problems. Expanding your borders while you have problems only expands your problems. Solving your problems will effortlessly expand your borders. Where do you put your effort? If you focus on how other people are to blame for your problems, you will find the excuse you need. Then, You can have problems and someone to blame for them. But your own problems will never go away until you can focus on how you yourself are to blame. So put all your effort on your own blame, no matter how small your blame borders on being. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.